Delve into a classic film from 1944 that has captured the hearts of audiences for generations. Its captivating blend of mystery, suspense, and timeless themes has solidified its position in cinematic history. As you immerse yourself in the story, ponder which character resonates with you the most. There's a rich tapestry of personalities to explore, each offering a unique perspective on the narrative. Now we're eager to hear your personal connections to this timeless piece of cinema. Share your favorite memories and experiences related to this movie in the comments below. Stay tuned for more intriguing insights into this iconic film, and don't forget to keep those comments rolling in. There's always more to uncover. In a captivating tale set in late 19th century London, a husband's deceitful actions drive his wife to question her sanity. Through subtle manipulation, he convinces her that she's losing her mind by dimming the gaslights in their home, leading to a series of mysterious occurrences that leave her bewildered. As suspicions grow, she embarks on a quest for answers, unraveling the sinister motives behind her husband's actions. The performances in this suspenseful thriller earned critical acclaim, with one actress even winning an Academy Award for her portrayal. It's a timeless story of manipulation and deception that continues to captivate audiences to this day. In the 1940s, May Whitty starred in three films where the leading lady won a Best Actress Oscar Joan Fontaine for Suspicion, Greer Garson for Mrs. Miniver, and Ingrid Bergman for the movie. Gaslight stands as the only film nominated for both Best Actor and Best Actress Oscars that year. Joseph Cotton appeared in five films selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress, including Citizen Kane, The Magnificent Ambersons, Shadow of a Doubt, Gaslight, and Touch of Evil. Gaslight holds the distinction of being the only film to achieve this recognition. Director George Cukor employed a unique method to guide Ingrid Bergman's performance. He narrated the entire plot of the film to her daily, ensuring she understood her character's evolving emotions. Initially resistant, Bergman eventually appreciated the approach, which aided her performance. Meanwhile, Ingrid Bergman's portrayal earned her the Best Actress Oscar at the 17th Academy Awards. Additionally, her first encounter with co-star Charles Boye occurred during a scene where they shared a passionate kiss. Boye, of equal height to Bergman, stood on a box to appear taller, a detail Bergman unintentionally disrupted during filming. Throughout the movie, Boye wore shoes with two-inch heels to maintain the illusion of height. Based on the information provided, Gaslight originated as a stage play titled Gaslight in the U.S., written by Patrick Hamilton. It premiered in 1941 and ran for over 1-200 performances. Notably, the original stage cast included Leo G. Carroll, Vincent Price, and Judith Evelyn. Interestingly, a sound effect used in the film, featuring Charles Boyer, later resurfaced in the thriller Wait Until Dark. Additionally, Gaslight marks the only movie where Ingrid Bergman won an Oscar for a performance in a Best Picture nominee. Overall, these facts shed light on the origins and unique achievements of the film. In the realm of classic cinema, a tale of talent and intrigue unfolds. A renowned film of 1944, recognized with an Academy Award for its exquisite set decoration, showcases authentic gas layers, adding depth to the psychological thriller's ambience. One notable gas layer, sourced from a mansion in Menlo Park, California, lends its historic charm to Charles Boye's character's bedroom, evoking a bygone era. In later years, an actress named Ingrid Bergman would etch her name in the annals of cinematic history, achieving what is known as the Triple Crown of Acting. She garnered Oscars for her performances in notable films like Gaslight, Anastasia, and Murder on the Orient Express. Bergman's talent extended beyond the silver screen, earning acclaim on Broadway with a Tony Award and receiving recognition in the television realm with Emmy accolades. Behind the scenes, serendipity played its part as screenwriter John Van Druten's suggestion led director George Cukor to audition Moyna Macchiel's daughters for a role in the film. Among them was Angela Lansbury, a novice to acting but destined for greatness. Lansbury's natural flair and ease on set captivated Cukor, marking the beginning of a remarkable acting career. In the tapestry of Hollywood history, these threads weave together to create a narrative of talent, chance, and timeless performances, each contributing to the allure of the silver screen. In this adaptation of the original play, new scenes were added, and most character names were altered. Joseph Cotton portrayed a young, handsome character, a departure from the original stout, elderly figure, to create a potential romantic interest for Ingrid Bergman and appeal to audiences. Barbara Stanwyck, though favored for the Best Actress Academy Award, graciously acknowledged Bergman's win, stating she was a member of Bergman's fan club, praising her deserving performances. In a legal tussle, MGM took on Jack Benny for spoofing it on his show. 
Benny's team argued it as parody, leading MGM to drop the lawsuit. Even in the Twilight Zone sketch, she and the movie get a nod without direct mention. As for him, he starred in several Oscar contenders, with one winner among them. This classic film has been a source of inspiration for many filmmakers over the years, its impact felt in various genres. Its themes of manipulation and psychological torment have been revisited in numerous works, solidifying its place in cinematic history. The film sets played a pivotal role in conveying Paula's escalating claustrophobia. Loaded with brick a brack intentionally, they serve to accentuate her growing sense of confinement. Ingrid Bergman's initial discomfort on set was noteworthy. The first scene capturing her exit from a railway carriage into Charles Boye's arms proved awkward. Complicating matters, Boye, a few inches shorter, stood on a box. Bergman's unease stemmed from beginning with an intimate scene before getting acquainted with her co-star. Behind the scenes, Charles Boye faced personal turmoil. His wife, Pat Patterson, pregnant after years of trying, was due to give birth. Anxious about her well-being, Boye frequently checked on her between takes. Unexpectedly, their son arrived early during the movie's production, prompting Boye's emotional breakdown. The cast and crew paused filming to celebrate, opening champagne bottles to mark the joyous occasion. The intertwining of on-screen tension and off-screen emotions provides a unique backdrop to the making of this classic film, capturing not only the intricacies of the storyline, but also the human experiences unfolding behind the scenes. In the mid-20th century, a certain movie made waves in both cinema and culture. It left a significant impression, giving rise to a term now widely recognized as a form of psychological abuse. This behavior involves manipulation that induces doubt in others, causing them to question themselves and their perceptions. By the 2020s, this manipulation had been identified as a form of abuse. The lead actress in the film achieved something remarkable by winning the Best Actress Oscar for a role that involves singing. She joined a select group of actresses who received this accolade for combining acting and singing in character. Interestingly, despite attempts to overshadow the 1940 British version, the UK arm of the studio decided to rename the movie for its British release. This decision aimed to avoid any misconception that it was simply a reissue of the original film. It highlights the film's ongoing interest and the studio's strategic marketing choices. In summary, the influence of this movie extends beyond its initial release, contributing to the cultural lexicon with a term that describes manipulative behavior. The lead actress's Oscar win adds to its distinction, while the decisions surrounding its British release underscore its lasting impact on both cinema and language.